It's a tragic fact that one in six girls of high school age in Indiana have been raped or sexually assaulted, and an, un an unknown number of boys. These numbers come from the Centers for Disease Control that estimates 17.3% of high school girls in Indiana have been raped or sexually assaulted, about 5.2% of boys, but at the same time, they believe that up to 80% of those go underreported or not reported at all. And um, we know just from looking at data from the criminal justice system, we know there are more than 11,000 registered sex offenders in Indiana throughout our communities, throughout the state. We know we have a terrible problem and we've got to do something about it. I've spent an untold number of hours on this issue and I continue to ask myself what would we do, how much would we invest, how urgent should our response be if say one in six of our children suddenly disappeared, what would we do? We'd call out the cavalry, we'd do everything we could to find them. What if one in six suffered from some terrible mysterious disease? Of course we would respond with, with great urgency anything we could do to cure them. We know that one in six girls have been raped or assaulted, for example, but we don't know why, where, by whom, or, or really the context of that situation, which really handicaps us from, from doing anything about it. Our problem is rape and sexual assault is a very, very big crime. That's everything from child seduction, to incest, to date rape, to random acts of violence, such as the two rapes in my district in House, House District 87 in the fall. It's oftentimes crime that, that victims don't realize they're victims of. In the case of incest, all too often, that's the context of normal for, for many young people. They think that their stepfather, their cousin, their, their uncle, that that's just what happens in families. It's awful and they hate it, but they don't see themselves as victims. Child seduction here in Indianapolis, just last night, another coach was arrested for um, inappropriate uh, sexual relations with a student, arrested for child seduction. The student often feels like they're in love with their perpetrator in these cases. They, they don't even have a basic understanding that they've been manipulated. Um, it's very complex and we need good social science to, to tell us where the problems are, what the problems are, and then um, how we can derive better policy, better law to do something about it. We also very much have the opportunity to become a leader in our nation. There is not any state, actually there's really no good information forecasting what the impact of emerging technology, social media, and uh, the digital age will have on these kinds of crimes. Earlier in the session we talked about uh, sex trafficking of children and the use of the internet that makes that a much more efficient and broadly spread problem. Well, now we have children that go to bed at night and I would suggest that when we were young people, when we were in bed at night, our parents had the confidence knowing that we were safe. The role of social media in these crimes is growing exponentially and nobody Nobody in our country, nobody I would suggest in the world has a handle on it. This is the first generation really of young people that go to bed at night. Most of them have a smartphone or a laptop or access to some portal where people with very nefarious purposes can reach them. And not only that, young people are committing crimes uh, with each other. Uh, there's all kinds of blackmail. You know, not only are you able to communicate with, with these devices, but you can take photos, you can take video, and um, there are new kinds of crimes that are happening every day that we just don't understand and have not been able to account for, and we've got to get ahead of that. Indiana is the second worst state in the nation, second only to Wyoming, which the Centers for Disease Control also tells us is the suicide capital of our nation. We're out of sync with our neighboring states like Illinois and Kentucky. Their averages are closer to the normal, still very high. The normal is, uh, the average in our country is 10.5% of high school age girls um, have been raped or sexually assaulted. That's far too high, but why is Indiana one in six? Why are we so out of step with the nation, with our neighboring states? Um, it's, it's a remarkable and horrible problem that we have. and. We have to get to work on it immediately.